Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you are new here, hi my name is Valentina. I'm a makeup lover and I like to test makeup products that look good on my acne texture skin and last all day. And for today's video I have uh, something new to test by uh, Givenchy. I'm going to test my first setting powder by Givenchy and uh, my first lipstick. And uh, I have these two, this Prisma Libre powder with this uh, deep velvet lipstick. And I'm also going to show you how I've created this makeup look by using some of my favorite makeup products. So. If you like what you see and want to find out more, then keep on watching. I already have my eyebrows on and uh, on my eyebrows I have this uh, Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit in the color 4. I really love this one. I don't film this part because um, I don't do something very crazy for my eyebrows. I just like to fill in any gaps and uh, to make them look uh, a little bit put together. And for my foundation today, I'm going to use this Parul Cold Skin Matte Foundation. This is the new foundation by Guerlain and uh, I've used this one for the first time in my last video. Video. I will also give you some updates for this foundation, but uh, if you want to see first impression for this one, I definitely recommend you to check my last video. I like to use one pump for my entire face and uh, apply the foundation uh, by using uh, my beauty blender. I get the most flawless finish if I uh, apply this foundation with my beauty blender. I've tried it with a uh, brush, but I feel like the coverage is a little bit heavy if I use uh, a brush. So I really like this foundation. I've used it every day since my last video. I like the finish. I like how um, well it lasts all day on my skin. It's lightweight. It's not breaking me out. I just have one thing that I don't like about this one. It's the color. It's something about it that I don't really like. For very fair skin, uh, this look a little bit uh, dark on me. Next, I'll move on to my concealer. And uh, for my concealer today, I'm going to use this uh, Dior Backstage Concealer. And uh, I will also use this one as my uh, eyeshadow primer. Next I'll move on and uh, I'll set everything with some powder and uh, I'm very excited because uh, I have a new powder to test for today's video and I feel like everyone talk about this one so I'm very curious to see if it's good. I like to try new powders because uh, I always like to set my skin so uh, I'm always in a hunt for uh, the perfect powder and my new powder comes in a set with uh, a lipstick. So my new makeup products that uh, I'll test in today's video are uh, these two by Givenchy. These two are very expensive if you buy them uh, separately, but um, I got this in this set on sale and uh, it was a very good deal. So um, I'm very excited to try this. So I've never tried a setting powder and a lipstick by Givenchy and I finally have the chance to test this in today's video. So this is my new powder, this is how the box look like. This is a powder for a matte, blurred and uh, radiant complexion, ultra fine, soft and airy light texture and it's non-comedogenic. Sounds amazing, I love a good uh, non-comedogenic uh, makeup product because I have acne texture skin. And this is how the packaging look. And the powder comes with this uh, powder puff that is very soft and uh, very good quality. So I'm very excited to apply the powder with a powder puff. I feel like everyone applies their powder with a powder puff and I'm still applying mine with uh, my brush. So um, I'm excited to try it like this. I want to talk about the powder now and I'll move on to my new lipstick after I finish with uh, all of the other makeup products. So the packaging is very big. I feel like you have a lot of product in here. I want to show you how the blush look because I thought that uh, this will be the size of the blush. So this is the blush and uh, this is the powder. This is huge compared to the blush. 
I don't know why I thought that the powder will be the size of the blush. For the blush you have uh, four colors for uh, 1.5 grams uh, each color and uh, on the setting powder each color has uh, 3 grams so it's definitely more product in the setting powder and uh, both are made in Italy with a 12 month shelf life. I have used this blush many times on my channel so I'm not going to talk much about it because uh, I've used it before and uh, I really like it. I just want to use it again in today's video because I really like the color and I want to use it over my new setting powder. So because I have a fair skin, I got the number one. This is the lightest shade um, for the setting powder. I'm going to apply some on the back of my hand to see how all of these colors will look on my uh, skin. I've used quite a lot, but uh, this is how uh, the powder look on my uh, hand. I wanted you to see how uh, all of these colors mixed together look. So I'll move on and uh, apply this powder on my skin. I don't know how to use this one, so I suppose you have to put some on the gap and then mix the powder with the puff, I guess. I'm going to apply it on this side of my face first. So this is how my skin look on the side of my face with this uh, Givenchy setting powder on. This side is definitely more matte and blurred. So far I like the finish. I wanna apply the powder on the side of my face uh, with my uh, brushes. So again, I'll put some on the cap and I'll get my brush. Okay, I definitely have more coverage on this side where I've used this uh, powder puff. This side look more airbrushed and uh, blurred. Could get a uh, flawless finish if you use the powder puff or uh, if you use your brush. I feel like the powder made my skin look uh, more luminous because the foundation is in a uh, darker shade that I would like. So far I like this powder. It's very finely milled but it's very pigmented and uh, gives my skin a very nice airbrushed finish. So I will let this powder for now and uh, I will move on with the rest of my makeup. And uh, I will give you my final impressions for this one at the end of the video. And uh, for my blush, I'm going to use this uh, Prisma Libre blush in the shade 1. I have this blush for a while and uh, I really like it. The pigment is very finely milled and the color is gorgeous. And the blush lasts uh, very well all day on my skin. And for my bronzer, I'm going to use this uh, by Hourglass. This is ambient lighting bronzer in radiant bronze light. This is my favorite bronzer at the moment. I really like it. I like the color. I like the finish and also lasts very well on my skin all day. And I like to go over with my uh, beauty blender with whatever's left from my foundation to blend out the edges. And uh, for my highlighter, I have this uh, Ambient Strobe Lighting Powder by uh, Hourglass. Next I'll move on to my eyes and uh, for my eyeshadow palette today, I'm going to use this uh, Empowered Eyeshadow Palette by Huda Beauty. I do have a first impression video for this eyeshadow palette and uh, I use it a lot off camera because everything from here is very good and uh, I have to say that my favorite from this eyeshadow palette is uh, this color from here. So I don't want to do something 
crazy today because um, I have red lipstick to test so I have to keep my uh, makeup uh, very simple and I'm going to start with these big trims on my crease and uh, on my lower lash line And with a flat angle brush, I'm going to use this color from here to create a wing. And uh, I'll use this gold shimmer shade on my inner corners. And from my mascara, I'm going to apply this uh, Makeup Forever Deep Professional. And I'll do this off camera and I'll be right back. Do you guys like to wear false lashes? Because I don't. But sometimes I wonder how my makeup will look if I apply false lashes. So I would love to know from you guys if you like to wear false lashes and when. On special occasions or uh, for every day. Because I don't like to wear false lashes, I'm always in a hunt for a great mascara so lately i've been liking this one by uh, makeup forever i'm going to move on to my new lipstick this uh, by givenchy so this is le rouge deep velvet and this is the color this is a powdery matte high pigmentation lipstick by givenchy and uh, this has 12 hour wear amazing i love a good uh, long wearing lipstick and this is how the lipstick look in this uh, velvet red case okay this is the most gorgeous lipstick i have this is very bougie So let's move on and apply it on my lips. I'm not going to use a lip liner because I want to see how uh, the lipstick will look without a lip liner, how is the finish, how this one feels, and uh, how this color will look on my uh, natural lip color. Okay, very pigmented. Also the lipstick smells very nice this color is gorgeous and the lipstick is very pigmented and I feel like I have nothing on my lips okay so I am very impressed I like the color my lips feel is very hydrated it's not very hard to apply without a lip liner or without a brush like I don't have a messy finish. I'll use a little brush to clean the edges a little bit. I feel like this is a perfect color for uh, Christmas and for holidays. So I will tell you right now that I really like this lipstick. I love the color. I love how uh, my lips feels right now so for a first impression i am very impressed and about my new Givenchy powder this uh, setting powder i have to say that i really like it my skin looks very smooth right now it's matte but still has a luminous finish so this powder sets the skin but my skin don't look dry so um, i'm very impressed with this one i'm excited to try it again i don't know how i feel about this i feel like um, this could get very messy and you have to mix the four colors uh, very well together but the powder is very finely milled it's not heavy or cakey on my skin and it's also not emphasizing my texture but um, makes everything look uh, airbrushed and uh, smooth so i really like it i'm excited to test this too for a full day and uh, i'll update you about everything in my next video but that's everything for today i hope this video is helpful and i hope that you like it if you like it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and also ring the bell to be notified when i upload i post every week so make sure to hit the notification bell i hope you'll have a wonderful day and i will see you in my next video bye